one example, where are you in this uh, part of globe? We all have a wristwatch. And we all know GMT is the normal standardization of time calculation. Greenish mean time. This calculation is a colonial model. UK started this uh, calculation methodology in the world since 19th century onward. You all are in great city of Indore. In the recent past, a few centuries ago, Rani Ahalya Bai, the iconic personality, the lady visionary leader who envisioned for good administration and courage. During her tenure, lot of new standards have been developed in the very city. In the neighboring district, in the present day time, the city of Mahakal, city of Lord Siva, the Ujjain. When the Vikramaditya period in the 4th century, we have started, we discovered the topic of cancer. The topic of cancer line is just above Ujjain. That calculation has been started during Vikramaditya period in the 4th century. And in those days, Baraha Meera, Brahma Gupta, Bhaskar Acharya, like eminent astrophysics experts were there in those days. That shows the depth of this locality in the global map. You all are in a very good place, in a good time. Friends, I don't want to Temper you, who all are you? What is your role? Since long we have a belief, at one point of time, we were the leader of the entire humanity, not as a military power, but as an intellectual leader. That for, that's a very popular concept. Yaham sab mante hai, Bharat kabi vishwa guru ki sthan pe tha. हम जब भारत को विश्व गुरु की वर्णन करते हैं हमारा कल्पना यह कभी नहीं रहता है कि हम एक मिलिट्री पावर बनेंगे एंटर वर्ल्ड इज इन द क्रॉस रोड टुडे हुज माइटी विल बी रन ओवर द वर्ल्ड बट इंडिया इज नॉट इन दैट रेस इन द स्पेशली आफ्टर दिस स्टेज ऑफ ग्लोबल टेंशन क्राइसिस एंड द रिकवरी पाथ after COVID-19 pandemic, the entire civilization is at crossroad. The new ideas, new models, new approaches are coming up automatically. That is the nature of society, that is the nature of when a man pushed to the wall, innovation comes in that place. Today we all are discussing Regarding global mobility and Indian workforce, you all are experiencing and a major stakeholder of this topic. What is your role? Today, in the simple term, you all know this fact, but I am repeating that. Today, around 3.32 million people are working in the different part of, more than 200 countries they are working. The net benefit to India is 100 billion remittance economy is there. State like Kerala, state like Bihar, state like Uttar Pradesh, and state like Odisha, state like West Bengal, entire North northeastern states, they are depending on this remittance economy. This is one simple reality of world today. If we calculate the global population, somewhere engaged in the global production, supply chain, global production, and other part are consuming. And other part, in a vast area, they are in between. 
neither they are a producing country, neither they have capacity to purchase their requirement. In this scenario, some of the global products are very costly in some part of the globe. Some part of the global products are not up to the mark, not up to the quality. With this situation, India is the happening point in the 21st century. You all have a very important role. India has envisioned with the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, there is a new national education policy. Yesterday only, Prime Minister re-emphasized India can be the global hub for the skilled manpower. At one point of time, our common understanding regarding skill was a blue-collar jobs, manual jobs. In the era of innovation and technology, now paradigm has been shifted. Half of the globe's work has been done by machine on the digital platforms and half of the job has been executed by hands, by manual approach. With this changing pattern, how to increase the mobility, how to enhance the capacity of our workforce, that is the challenge in front of all of us. And here, being in charge of education sector and skill sector, and depending on you, Prime Minister is reposing faith on you to create a new model in India, in the globe of Indian workforce. There are certain inherent qualities in Indian workforce. Hard work, honesty, responsibility, all these intangible quality of human being are already existing in the Indian ecosystem. That apart, if I cite one example, in the digital stake, now we have envisioned Indian stake mechanism. In the digital connectivity, digital use in all walk of life, whether it is a sweeper, is a cleaner, or is a rocket scientist. India has its own strength and capacity. In the digital transaction, India contributes 40% now. In NEP, in the new skill approach, we have envisioned, we will create a skill network in our country. Today, there are around 500 million workforce in our country. 300 million students are there. If I count students from class 6 to post-graduation or PhD scholars, that amounts 200 million. 50, 500 million existing workforce, 200 million youngsters, those who are in campus, putting together these 700 million. Now India is envisioning Skill India Digital Portal, Seed Portal. Through this portal, we are envisioning to create skilling modules, Reskilling modules, upskilling modules. Skilling is a continuous, uh, lifelong learning process. In every year, we are changing our phone handsets. Every time, there are five more new features in our telephones. These are not only features of entertainment. They are features of economic opportunities. Through your telephone, you can control the entire globe's activities whether it is economic front in the social front, through enter, it, whether it is entertainment or information. Now technology is enabling all of us. Technology has shrink the entire global space for all of us. Friends, with this scenario, the challenge is how we can find the proper place. Where are the jobs? Now technology is giving us opportunity. Staying in India, we can service the entire world. I found almost all global company of the any part of the globe, their back-end offices are now in India. Whether it is Chennai or Pune or Delhi or Mumbai or Bengaluru or the remote part of the country. In your villages, you all have set up your back-end office 
designing, accounting, manpower management. You are putting your back end office at India because twofold, two things, quality and affordability. Trends the era of technology, we have to find out jobs for our countrymen. They can go there. They can give service from here also. We have to envision you are the best and knowledgeable person. Where are the jobs? Which kind of requirements is necessary? What are the standardization? What are the equivalent certificates? Through NEP, we are envisioning a very flexible model. Multiple exit, multiple entry. For the first time in India, we are giving credit framework from class 1 to research student. On job credit, earning will be there. There will be an academic bank of credits for all the students, whether it is in the campus or in the workplace, whether in the skill sector or the formal education sector. The credit framework will be facilitated him to upskill his capacity, upskill his knowledge level. Rightly, Prime Minister said, nowadays, degree is not important. Competence is important. Performance is important. Output is important. India, through its new policy, is giving importance in all these areas. With this expectation, with this new flexible policy, with this new technology capability, recently India has envisioned there are 0.6 million house, villages in country. 